Today's video is going to be a super casual video. I have no more eyelashes left. I'm about to get them done in a couple weeks, but the uh, lash lady didn't have any availability. So I'm just going to be giving my lashes a break for a couple of weeks until I can go to her. I am wearing glasses because I think it covers up the fact that I have no eyelashes a little bit. <laughs> Do a little day in the life. Um, it might be all day today. It might run into tomorrow. We'll just see where it takes us. And then I got this noodle shelf. I got it mainly because, well, I had nowhere to put like all these things. And then I am still working on making my closet room cute and how I want it. And so this is one of the things I wanted is like a display shelf. I finally got one and got these little lights. They're like magnetic and they are motion censored, but I turned the lights like actually on for this portion of the video so this will also be in the background of my like sit down nice filming videos i've been editing photos since 11 a.m and it's now like two so i'm done editing for a while i'm not done for the day but at least the big portion of it is done now i'm going to fold laundry <laughs> let's do it it is a typical gloomy, cloudy day here in Germany. Well, winter day. In the summer, it gets sunny a lot of the time, but this is what it looks like practically all fall and winter. It's like sat here and folded this entire pile of laundry that was right here, and I didn't hit record. You're in luck. I still have quite a bit more. I talked about like what is going on with like our travel plans and stuff, and nobody was listening i was literally talking to myself so i'm going to try and go back over what i just said for a while we've had a trip planned to go to edelweiss which we went to edelweiss in this like this past summer and we really enjoyed it obviously because we wanted to go back my husband really wanted to ski i personally i don't know how i feel about skiing i've never been skiing he hasn't either i've never done any sort of winter sports Except for ice skating, I guess, if that counts. Just not really a whole cold person. I don't love the cold too much. I like the snow. I like looking at the snow, but I don't really like being out there. I did my husband's birthday, which is in January, that we would go to Edelweiss. And for his birthday, we would go skiing. And obviously, since we've never skied before, we would have to pay like for a like instructor to teach us how to ski. Because I don't think that's one of those things you can just like wing it. I think you kind of have to be taught a little bit at least. This trip planned for a while, like a few months at least. And my husband said that um, the TDY he goes on at the beginning of this year, the dates, like he leaves around like the first week of February. Well, his birthday is at the very end of January, which means we were gonna go for like January into like the first couple days of February. He thinks that the dates interfere with the TDY which means if they did, he could go, but he couldn't go on the TDY. And we kind of need him to go on this TDY because we are hoping that he will be able to make a little bit of money um, to help fund our trips that we're doing this summer to Mallorca and Ibiza. We had to change the dates. So I emailed the Elias, you know, hey, can we change the dates to like the 14th? Like that weekend said that they had those dates, but they did not have pet rooms. And that was our plan was to take the dogs with us. Because we have a really hard time finding dog sitters here. And I don't know why it was so much easier in Japan. There were so many more like small business people and just, I don't know. It's just so different here. Part of the reason is we would trade trade off like turns with our friends and okay. But we don't have that here. We don't have anybody to switch off with here. That is a big reason it's so hard to find people here too is we just like nobody we don't know we don't know anybody that wants to do that then i was like okay well we could just not take them then it's like then what do we do with them so i emailed the pet lodge on base which like boards the dogs I had all of the dates available but one well, that doesn't work obviously because it was in the middle of the trip so obviously that doesn't work i was gonna change the dates that we were gonna go so that maybe the pet lodge would have availability. 
Well, um, told me that they have those, you know, the new dates, the third new dates or second new dates, I guess. Again, they don't have dog things and I looked on their website and it shows that those dates aren't available. A couple of those days that we would want to be there aren't available. So I don't really know what is going on with that, but at this point I'm just kind of like, mm, uh, skiing would cost us around $400 alone. So like with just the hotel skiing and the gas driving there, we're looking at $1,000. That's not including like our food and all the drinks and all the other things we do while we're there. I'm just kind of starting to like, think okay well what else could we do like where else could we go like maybe we could do this another time like, so i started looking at ryanair which is the cheap airline here to see where other places we could go that were pretty close pretty cheap see just what cheap flights they had like mm, all these are summer destinations because if you don't go in the summer it's cold you know beach destinations like greece and places like that it just wouldn't be very fun to be in greece when it's 50 degrees and venice venice italy high up on my bucket list it came up and I was like, hmm, okay. Definitely more so a summer destination, spring or summer. You don't go in the water. You just get on the boat, on the little gondolas. It cut me off because my iPhone storage is full. I don't know where it was, but oh my gosh, you guys. So the dates were a little bit different than what we really wanted. Found flights to Venice which this is not uncommon for Ryanair. We flights to Venice on the dates that we were looking at, which isn't really surprising because it's really a weird time to like go to Venice. This flight there was 15 euro. And the flight back is 10 euro. So that doesn't include any baggage fees or anything, which we would add on one bag. That's like $30 to add on a bag. Then you add on parking. Well, you can add on parking, which we would. It costs like $30 for three days. Not too crazy. So I think we're going to go to Venice because I did the math and it's actually if we, since skiing, skiing is really the big, the big ticket item on the Edelweiss trip. We want to do it eventually. We will do it eventually. Now I just think, you know, since the trip didn't work out how we wanted it to, I am thinking we're gonna go to Venice instead because it'll be just a smidge cheaper. It's somewhere that's really high up on the bucket list. I think we're gonna do that because flights total are around 125 when you add on all of the extra stuff. Round trip for two people. Downfall is Ryanair doesn't allow dogs. So I think since they don't allow dogs to go, then we will just figure it out. Hotel prices in the winter also obviously drop down because it's not peak tourist season for Venice. On hotels that we could spend like $200 for three nights and we could spend like almost $400 for three nights. So total, I think this trip is gonna cost us around like $800. That's pretty cheap for, you know, that's pretty cheap, I would say. There it is. And trying to figure out for sure what we're gonna do, but by the by the end of this video, y'all will know what our next trip is. Here today is wrap some Christmas presents for both my mom. Go ahead and pick them out so she knows what they are. They're little um, smokers. They have like some history behind them, um, and the history is explained in the little pamphlet that comes with them. But basically, they're from like the 1860s. Is where they originate in Germany, obviously, the incense smokers. So I have one right here. You put the little scent thing on there and then you light it. And and this one, the smoke comes out of the chimney. My mom, she wanted the gingerbread house and this little lion with like a beer and a pretzel. It's a montage of me wrapping this present. <laughs> Is 
going to be it for today's day in the life vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I just got done booking flights to Venice and booking our hotel as well as finishing up all of my editing for the day. So we are going to Venice. Super excited to go. And yeah, so you can stay tuned for that in January. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!